Hey everyone, welcome to another Dator Tech Solution video. In this one, we're going to provide a tutorial on how to automate uploading files in web scraping in Python. We're going to use a couple of packages like Selenium. You may have heard or used it or used it or not, but regardless of your background knowledge, we're going to provide a step-by-step -step guide. Um, so hopefully you should be able to follow and customize based on your need. Now, let me provide a quick demo of what that automated file upload uh, would look like. In this example, I'm gonna provide an um, upload uh, image file to a website and then apply an um, operation after that. Imagine that we already there, I want to, I have everything, I want to upload, uh, automate uploading a file in this web, web page that as you can see, and it's already automated, I'm not doing anything, it's already automated, it's done now, and then we can follow up with another operation after that. So let me go over the step-by-step -step guide um, next to see how this works. Okay, so as always, this is the open access project, everything code, all the explanation, everything is um, available, free, accessible for all. Uh, information is in the description of the video. Um, the first step is importing or installing a couple of packages. We use Selenium and a couple of other related packages for Selenium. Um, now for doing the upload and using Selenium, you, you, you need to use a browser. And for web browser, you can use most of the common ones. I'm using Chrome here, but I'm gonna show you how you can install and load the specific uh, driver manager that we need. Now in this case, I'm gonna use Chrome, but you can use Firefox or any other um, browser and then the other package that I'm using is uh, Pi Auto GUI and the reason for using that is actually um, we're gonna provide a tutorial in how to upload the file up uh, upload files in automated fashion in two ways because sometimes one of the ways depending on the website that you're using you may come across to some errors that's why we provide two different ways to overcome any error that you may reach so um, of course uh, first is on installing this stuff but um, in order to actually use the Chrome driver or driver manager or whatever web browser you use uh, you need to uh, go to website and downloading which I'm gonna provide next um, and in this case I'm gonna provide I use Chrome okay so what you need to do is search for Chrome driver Selenium and again if you're using Firefox or any other web browser just instead of Chrome use that for Selenium and then you should be able to find um, this Chrome, it's the first case that uh, this is the web website where you can download the specific Chrome driver related to the version of the browser that you have and again in this case I have Chrome and actually my case is um, is this, this one, this is the version of the Chrome brow uh, browser that I'm using. So I'm, I downloaded this one and I put it in a, a specific file path. Now you need to know what's the path and import that path and write it in the in your um, Python code. So Python code is able to locate where is this Chrome driver and to use it. So that's uh, the step for installation that you need. And you, what you're gonna end up, this gives you most likely some sort of zip file. You need to unzip it and just put the file in somewhere. You don't need to run anything or install anything. Everything is gonna be done with the Python code itself. So next, let's go over the code itself. So uh, I'm gonna run this. Um, this is a, a Jupyter Notebook, which of course you could convert it to a Python script as well. Second step is um, actually want to do the job. So first step is we want to initiate the Chrome driver. So once you run this, the automated browser is going to open up in the windows when it's actually guided and um, driven by this code. Uh, and here I provide the path for the Chrome driver. In this case, the path is just uh, in the same place that I'm working in my working drive. Uh, but you may have any other path for, to this exit file. Now, um, if you're using Selenium 4, you may want to, and you, you may reach to some error using the first line. So that's why I have another option to try this one um, to use a service and get your um, path and use executable 
path and then use um, a service function like this you should be able to overcome the error if you're using this selenium and next um, it's a good idea to provide some waiting time uh, to be able that the chrome driver is already run and everything is um, you you get some time to it so it's uh, it should be now executed uh, properly next what we're doing here we are let me oops okay um, we are providing the URL of the web page that we uh, this is exact URL when the upload file happens in this case I provide a simple one this is publicly accessible to everyone so you can test it yourself so this is one of those uh, web pages where you it's online free tool to resize the image uh, I use that but you, you could have any uh, of course use use case and um, in this case, so I open this web page. Next step is now we need to find the place where uh, we can upload the image and the element in that web page where we can upload the image and find the X path of that element. So let's see in this example what that looks like. Um, and then we create an item called upload file. So this upload file knows where in that web page it needs to go and upload the file. So we're gonna see how we find, we find I actually find this um, element here, this, this file. And ne next step is actually uh, uploading the file that we do next. Okay, so this is the web page that actually uh, we use to upload our image. Um, on file so we need to uh, right click inspect in our browser um, and this is the place where I actually can um, upload my file so I need to find some sort of element address for this one now the safest to use is xpath there are of course other ways other um, uh, different type of ID that you can use um, this one is select image so what I'm gonna do right click on the select image and I'm gonna find copy the X path. So when you copy the X path, then you go back to here. Okay, so going back here, copying what I copied, this is actually what uh, Chrome um, gave me, but actually the X path for this one is this content as you can see. So I get rid of this slash span, and we can have some trial and error to make sure you get the right um, the x path of the correct element for the for the one the element that you actually need to use to upload your file and there you go so we used it and we put it here next step is okay now we have two different ways to be able to use upload the file one is send key and another is using pi auto gui so send key is a function that of itself for, from selenium itself where actually in this case i need to change the name of the image so this is the this is the path of the image that i have here um, let me zoom in a little bit so this is if i uncomment this uh, the, up, the actually the name of it is upload file so upload files, send keys, and you put the address of the, the file that you have. In this case, my image file simply is in C, so I just use that. And then once you actually send this, it's done. Now, for many dynamic web websites, this may not work. Um, now, if this item is not working for you, and there could be many different reasons that this may not be applicable to the website that you use, the other one that is safe and uh, almost uh, for, works for any uh, website with any situation is actually uh, this um, four uh, code lines that I'm using using the Pi Auto GUI package. So what I'm doing here, I commented the first method. So this is the second method. Um, we're gonna uh, click on the 
upload file um, button or the place where we found that we can click and upload our file and then we're gonna wait a little bit we're gonna have some sleep or pause time to make sure now the uh, new new page is, is, is open and then we simply gonna mimic the behavior of a human when you have a, the file browser uh, locator is open now you uh, we type right um, the location of the path of the file um, in here there and we press enter simply so this is essentially as a human uh, would do so it's as if uh, we are mimicking the behavior of clicking on this waiting three seconds and then uh, going to the path so if you put the path of the file in here it goes to the path and then you click on the enter as long as uh, because we already provide the name of the file in here as well by clicking enter we open it and everything is fine we all uh, we essentially uh, uploaded the file in the place that we want it so that's how it works this is the second method and this is uh, you can always also try this the first method using the same key is of course simpler but in my case and in many different cases it could not be working depending on how dynamic or what's the type of the HTML of the web browse uh, web page or URL we are targeting at. Now, uh, after that, you may have some next steps. That next step could be once you upload the file, you may need to enter a button to submit to confirm to save the file, or you may need to enter something or have another a job. So that would be another scraping project that you need and you add on the bottom of the code. But that would be out of the scope of this project. This is also wanted to focus on how you up upload a file in any situation using two different me methods. So let's actually run it and see this again, how it works. So there you go, I go to the websites and I wait a little bit. I mimic the behavior of a human. I go to the place and I put the file path and there you go, then I'm, I'm there. So that's uh, the tutorial on how to automate uploading a file in Python using Selenium and Py Auto GUI in two different ways. Um, hopefully this is useful for your use case. Let me know in the comment if uh, you found any issue or you have any comment related to this type of work. Thank you very much for watching our video. See you in next video.